Sorry. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Plaid Girls Show. I'm Siobhan Palmer and we're broadcasting live from beautiful Angel Fire, New Mexico this week. I have a very special co-host, Miss Sadie Johnson. Sadie? Hey guys, what's up? Guess who this is? She's not my parole officer. She's my granddaughter. Oh! We love nepotism at Plaid for Women, so there you go. Okay, I hope you're enjoying this beautiful background. I wanted to share a little bit of information about um, Angel Fire, New Mexico with you. It is a beautiful town located at, what, about 8,500 feet. Mm -hmm. That's why if we're a little goofy, we're oxygen deprived. Uh! We're up in the Santo de Cristo Mountains, which means Blood of Christ. And Angel Fire um, full-time residence is about 1,100 people year-round. Not that Ooh. much, right? Yeah. But the population does swell considerably during the peak ski seasons and things like that. So for all of our Texas, what, what is the temperature out here right now, Sade? 55 degrees. Oh! I know that was a low blow Texas, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but we really enjoy it up here. Just beautiful uh, mountains, beautiful wildlife. We're located about 40 miles from the town of Taos, New Mexico, which many of you are familiar with. So it's been a great week here with you and your mom and dad and your brother and big daddy. So mm -hmm. we're having a good time. So as far as I'm concerned, that's the end of segment one. It's a wrap. All right. Uh, uh. Okay, segment two. Now that I have this beautiful teenager here, let's talk about something a little bit more serious. Um, no Mean Girls. As many of you know, Plaid for Women has launched an online campaign called No Mean Girls Allowed. And Sade, I'd be really interested for you to tell our audience, what are some of the major issues that are impacting um, teenage girls today? What would you say? Um, bullying. Okay. Bullying's a big one. And um, lacking confidence. Lacking confidence. That seems to be a big problem with young girls. Why do you think so? They, no, uh, they're they being put down so much that nobody has any confidence anymore. And they should just have confidence in themselves. Absolutely. So where are they being put down? At school? At home? Or do you think the media has a big... Uh, media is a big one. School too. Give me an example of how media makes uh, teenage girls feel uncomfortable or not confident. Say they post something of themselves and somebody comments something really rude, it puts them down. Right. So social media has got its uh, pluses and its minuses, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Talk about bullying in school. Have you experienced that yourself or have you witnessed that in school? Um, I haven't witnessed it, no, but I know it happens uh, everywhere. Right. Um, we have, we actually have like a whole bullying campaign kind of thing. At your school in yeah. Fort Worth? Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, we have like our counselor at school. We just have like bullying notes and you like file them into her and she like reads them and helps you with it and so it can help you grow. Right. You know, and I know you're familiar with the No Mean Girls campaign because I've forced you to be familiar with it, <laughs> but what do you think makes um, a woman beautiful? Not just physical looks, but what do you think makes a woman beautiful and confident? What's very important, do you think? Their inner. Their heart. What's in yeah. their heart, right? Yeah. How they treat other people. Of course. Yes. yes. What else? Can you give me some um, women or girls in your life that you admire? Besides me. Um, you? Yes. <laughs> I'll give you the 20 bucks later. Okay. Um, I don't really know. I'd have to think about it. All right. All right. But I'm not sure. What about you? Um, some sheroes. We call them sheroes at Plaid for Women. Uh huh. Well, historically, I mean, women like Eleanor Roosevelt, some yeah. of the women scientists, women that have been uh, groundbreaking pioneers. So it's about being, being, being a strong Earhart. woman. Yeah, being a strong woman is very cool, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like Plaid is the new black, so. <laughs> Are we finished with this segment? Yep. And scene two. <laughs> Are y'all enjoying this? I sure hope so. We're having a good time. Can you see the uh, beautiful Aspens applauding behind us? There? They're applauding for us. Okay, finally to wrap up this week's Plaid Girls, we are going to talk or actually leave, um, leave you with a little song that Sadie and I came up with, and I hope you will enjoy it. Should we put our shades on for some of Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. We're the Plaid Girls coming to your town. We're the Plaid Girls and we're going to get down. We're the Plaid Girls. Red, black, red, black, <laughs> not brown. Word. Word. That's it for this week's show, Plaid Girls TV. We'll see you next week. Bye bye from Angel Fire, New Mexico. Woo! Oh, God. <laughs>